So this is one of the big, an example of one of the biggest trebuchets there there is. Uh, very few pictures of this. There is actual well, pictures, designs, anything like that. There's some really shitty uh, Victorian style drawings of it that that are almost impossible to decipher. I'll put them on at the end of this, just so. Well, no, I can't do that. Uh, I'll put links to them in the description so that you can go take a boo. Okay. So, anyways. Uh, I've got plans for this thing. Actually, I you know, could probably make kits up. So if anybody's interested in a kit of this, get, you know, uh, get a hold of me. Hang on one second. So, anyways, so this was the ladder to go up to help fix ropes, I guess, or whatever. This is a trebuchet style, so all the weights in this bucket here. I've got that filled full of lead, eh? So, the idea was, here's a peg here. I'll zoom in for you. So I've got holes, whoops, sorry. Kind of terrible lighting in here, but oh well. So the, the peg would go in there and he would crank crank down the ropes. Okay. Now I I like this like I said, there's very few designs of this. Uh the pulley system, I don't know if they attach that after or, or what and nobody really knows what these things were used for on this thing it was it was huge i think it only fired a couple times actually but it was the biggest trebuchet ever built or it, this is what it's supposed to have looked like eh? uh they, they figure maybe that to get the the pin off center because it was so heavy to get this thing started going down they would crank this one first and then when they released these it would kind of snap it just just enough to get this thing started and then they would crank these you know and then okay so they would crank this thing down I'll just wind it down here I'm gonna have to set the camera down let me wind this down and then I'll get back okay wound it down now when I made this one here I didn't quite make the net the net long enough I, I wanted this to, uh, to actually work you know, and it's hard to do on a small scale when you're just kind of figuring it out. Okay, so the the net here, uh, that uh, just made it that out of cotton thread and just braided it together. I'll sh I show you how to do that if you're interested in the plants. And then this little lever here, I found that in a watch. Okay, uh, these are off of. Oh man, what did I get them make the gears off of? I think I took that off a little little motor and then just cut the gear in half because I couldn't find two. But and then when you throw this, say it. Ooh. Anyways, there's a miniature trebuchet. the bottom that's how I did the bottom try to give you another shot of this thing keep my big paws out of the hand out of the way We have no rocks. Can you believe that? And it's raining outside. And we don't want to go outside and get wet. <laughs> no. Anyways, here's a dime. Of course it won't fall. It won't fly right. It never does. Impressive. <laughs> this is bomb too tight. Yeah. Well, see, no, no, the pulley, I couldn't find a pulley this small either, eh? I had to actually make this. So this one's all made out of wood. I've got it going across this top rope here. And then I've got two ropes going through there. So in small scale, it's just, I mean, too much resistance, eh? And then this rope here, or this beam here, is so that when this thing comes out, 
that stick grabs it and twists twists but I mean oh you can't even see there can you never mind okay. all right here this is what I'm talking about hold on sorry this stick here so that when the net came around that would twist it at least I don't know if that's I mean hey I'm a Canadian boy up here we don't have we don't have these up here in Canada eh? 